a lot of confidence right now. Um, you could put that you could put that heat together and say that's the final, and most people would believe you. Um, so to be able to come out and do that today, have a little second PR and make it feel like that, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the final. I think it can go any way, it can go fast, it can go slow. I think I can win it anyway. So you, you crossed the finish line and you kind of looked into the stands and you, were, oh, yeah. you did that motion. What was that about? I mean, if you look at the guys I'm running against, top of the NCAAs, I mean, we got some inc like, incredible talent. Um, so to be able to go out and do that in the prelims, um, I knew if I could get through the prelim and make it feel smooth. Um, anything can happen in the final. I've been saying that since before we even got here, um, before I even knew I was going to make NCAAs. So just a lot of belief in myself right now, and uh, I feel like I showed that today. Um, so it's just kind of like I was hitting one of these because I let people know like I've got more in the tank. If I need more, I can get it. Um, I've still got gears left. So when, when Liz came out, what was your first reaction when you saw all the guys that were in that oh, race? I just wonder if we need to update the way that we do the prelim ranking, or like the, the way we make the prelims, because in a situation like this, we just got the East basically and then the West, and especially like a year like this, the West is, I mean, if you look at the like the people we have, we got some real heavy hitters in our um, in our section, so I don't know, I mean, it was a little, it was a little uh, shocking to see, but I knew um, if I was up for the test in the prelim, then I'm up for anything in the final, so. What? Why did it feel so good for you today? I mean, what was it? Was it the atmosphere? Was it the oh, back? Yeah. You know, it's the last meet. I mean, what, oh, yeah. what was it? It's everything. I mean, I've been here before. I did it two years ago, but I didn't make it to the prelim. Um, so kind of understanding this environment, being at home, obviously, um, hearing people cheer my name on the start line, and then uh, just understanding how to race, I guess. I'm, I'm finally coming around and understanding that side of myself and figuring out what works and what doesn't. And um, I continue to figure it out as I do it this year. And um, that was another great example of the progress I've made this year. So, what's been the biggest difference for you, learning the role in the last couple of years in your strategy yeah. and in how and where you've gone to right now? Yeah, I mean, previous to, to this year, I mean, a little bit last year, I was working on it, but it's just like understanding how races play out, um, understanding your competition, understanding what kind of moves they're going to make, how to anticipate things, how to stay relaxed. That's the big thing. Is just how to stay relaxed, and a lot of that comes with just aerobic work and. With Jerry as my coach, I mean, we're doing a ton of aerobic work and it's paying off because my legs can just handle anything right now. So, and at the time that I need it most. So, yeah. When you're in a field that that's as loaded as the one that you were in, is there less gamesmanship within the race because everybody's kind of like, well, we just gotta. I think there's a little more like mutual respect with each other, so there is a little less gamesmanship. Um, but you have to be that much more alert of any move that's gonna be made. Um, because anything can happen and anybody can do anything on a day like today. Um, you know, I came out with the win today, but in the final, who knows, what, who, you know, who knows who's going to show up to play. So um, I'm just going to have to anticipate that and I'll prepare for Friday. So. How, how much of, like, energy do you think you used? 80%, 90%, 100%? Like, well, no, I was, I was definitely working with, like, 300 to go. When I felt that move being made, I wasn't quite as comfortable as I wanted to be. Um, but I was confident enough coming with, like, 150 to go that even if I was in a bad position I felt like I had enough of my legs so I've proven it this season that if I'm not in the most ideal position I find myself behind Hauser multiple times you know I've done that multiple times this season so um, I figure out a way to maneuver and it seems to work out so right runs at 338 and doesn't qualify if I just speak to the talent level in the 1500 this year that's what's unbelievable and you hate to see it because if he's in the other heat I, I definitely think he's getting in um, there's just there's so much talent right now. I know he's he's been sick for for quite a while, um, so I think if he gets some rest and recovery and kind of figure out his body, he'll be ready to go. Because um, seeing what he does in training and seeing the way he's been feeling lately, for him to come out and run 3:38 in a field like that, even though placing eighth, like that's unbelievable, especially at his age. So I'm really excited for what's to come. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, man.